Next is Master Jules Daly, Class 4, A3, with his own invention, electric chopsticks. <laughs> You think you'll be finished on time? They'll be calling for Eddie soon. Why don't you just take the robot? Uh, Herman, please. I didn't interfere when you were being put together. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Ready. Can't open her. Can't open her. Can't open her. Liars. 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 <laughs> What's the matter with him? You know how squeamish Herman is. He always faints at the sight of oil. <laughs> Ribbit. 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 Thank you, thank you. Now, the last exhibit on our science fair tonight will be a robot built by young Eddie Munster. Oh, Grandpa, they're introducing the robot right now. What'll we do? Please, please. I mean, these things take time. After all, I'm only flesh and blood. <laughs> Somebody will just have to go out there and stall them until we're ready, like they do in those old Don Amici movies on TV. <laughs> but who? Is it over yet? idea what's holding things up, but I'm sure you'll be right out. The robot, please. Stole them? Yes. How? Just talk to them. Talk to them? Oh, I couldn't. That, I'd be scared to death. I, I'd get stage fright. What could I say? Why don't you tell them some of those jokes you've been reading in that book? That ought to keep them amused. Now, Herman, this could be a big break. Go out there and give them everything you've got. Look, just think, Herman, this could mean Hollywood, the palace. <laughs> Come on, dear. All right. I'll go out there. But I'm not doing this for fame or fortune or to be the life of the party. <laughs> I'm doing this for Eddie. I've been asked to come out here and, uh, entertain you. <laughs> Amazing. It looks almost alive. Yes. Why can't our Sydney build something like that? He's 16 years old. He can barely wave bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is my first public appearance, so you'll have to bear with me if I don't function too well. <laughs> As a matter of fact, this situation reminds me of a story. Uh, one time, Abraham Lincoln was asked if he found appearing at public ceremonies annoying. He said, yes. In fact, I feel like the man who was ridden out of town on a rail, who said, if it wasn't for the honor of the thing, I'd rather walk. <laughs> I think I found the trouble. Someone has thrown a wrench in the works. Let's <laughs> do a thing like that. Haggard. <laughs> and they even have an invention for keeping the inside of the car quiet. It fits right over her mouth. <laughs> Well, that's as much as I can do. Now it's all up to that big mechanic in the sky. 
who wears the biggest hat in the world? The man with the biggest head. <laughs> Can we bring it out now? Of course. All we have to do is get Herman off the stage. Come on. Careful, Grandpa. See? Stop now. The robot's dead. Stop now? Are you kidding? You hear them out there? I'm a smash. <laughs> I tell you, they're my kind of people. They love me out there. I got them right in the palm of my hand. Herman, Mr. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Aren't you forgetting something? This is supposed to be Eddie's night, not yours. But, Lily, I... <laughs> Lily, I guess you're right. I'm just a big ham. It was the lights and the applause. I, I just got carried away. Eddie, you hear that out there? That's for you. Now take your robot and go on out there and kill him. Herman. <laughs> really, that's just a show business expression. OK, Eddie, start her up now. Sorry, Eddie. I've let you down. It's all my fault. What am I gonna do? There's nothing to do. I'll just go out and explain. No, Dad. That's my job. No. Eddie just informed me his robot exploded backstage. Oh. However, however, I think I speak for everyone here when I say the special prize should still go to Eddie Munster. Yeah. Really? Eddie tells me he doesn't deserve to win. He was helped by his grandfather. You know, I think such honesty should be rewarded. Eddie, my young friend, you're the kind of a boy we're proud to have in our school. Yes. I think our Eddie has just become a man. And the hard way. Not like you, Herman. <laughs> That's our boy. Where's my joke book? I haven't seen it. And Eddie's down in the lab. He and Grandpa are working on a new project. Another invention? It's got something to do with the robot. <laughs> it's remarkable how that boy's marks have improved. He's liable to turn out just like me if he keeps his head to the grindstone. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear they sent that awful Mr. Taggart back to prison service. It's men like him who give prisons a bad name. <laughs> Why does a chicken cross the road? You bet. <laughs> that was good, Eddie. Good. Try another one. Why do firemen wear red suspenders? To keep their hats up. <laughs> Eddie will make a fortune. They say that Fordville is dead, but you and I were gonna bring it back to life. 